up it up. Hey, what's good, everybody? The time has come for me to spin the wheel and announce the giveaway. And so during the middle of this video, maybe the end of the video, I'll kind of cut and do that. But uh, without further ado, on this video, I want to talk about California North by Gendarme, as well as the Gendarme fragrances I have in my collection, because I have more than just the, uh, the flagship, if you will, the original. So without further ado, we want to start with California North, and this is the gel wash. Supposed to be a substitute for overly drying soap. This is a face as well as body wash. Now don't get in people's pockets and uh, to each its own, whether you you know, feel like something is perfect to a price point, but not that you would ever know anything like this about me, but you'll know now. But I am a two shower day guy at least. I never get in my bed without taking a shower and I take a shower in the morning to kind of wake me up, kind of perks my eyes open. And so I keep about seven or eight different uh, soaps, body washes and things that I use. At night I prefer like the lavenders, aquatics, really soapy fragrances. To start the day, I love the citrus fragrances. And this is perfect for starting my day. And why I say perfect, because I won't go into pretty much the notes. You can, excuse me, see that on site and I'll tag all that below. If you ever check it out, but this has citruses in it. And the smell that comes off, not that it's overly powering, but the smell that comes off is that of uh, Fruit Loops or Skittles kind of smell, which I absolutely love to start the day. Now, in any product, before I bring it to you, I test it out for a period of time, a good period of time. And when this said face slash body wash, it went into the yeah right category. So what I did with this, I wore it on my face only for like a month. Zero breakouts, everything was perfectly fine. Left my skin clean, tight, but not overly dry. And equally as good on the body. So this, I would say I have the eight ounce bottle. I'd say go with the 16 ounce if you're gonna go with it go for the most, but I was pleasantly surprised and impressed with this gel wash. And it is tested on humans. Damn, they tested it on me. Yeah, it's all good. Still got meat on my face, my beard is still intact, so we're straight. Now, the next product from California North is the shave cream. Now, when it comes to shave cream, I'm not a daily razor user, but when I wanna get a hard line, I do use a double edge safety razor with a basically shave gel and also pre-shave oil. This is amongst the quality I would say previously what I used to use at times was uh, the art of shaving. This is on even par with that. I mean high end, high quality, great ingredients, perfect stuff and the smell this gives out is divine. It actually smells like shaving with orange crushed soda I mean it is it, it is perfect and like you know history men shaving it's like yeah eventually I will go back to when the beard goes away maybe the goatee and, and then maybe I'll have the the douche beard line and then I will be going back to the the double a safety razor again I don't think I can go with the clean face again that was that's, that's a bit much clean face and you know one thing about going clean shaving when you have a mustache the space between your nose and your upper lip is exaggerated when you cut it off. I mean, the space in between this looked like a big ass piece of plyboard right there. I mean, it was it was something special. Hey, but I rocked it though. I was rocking that shave monkey nut space. It, objection, sustained, strike that from the record. Disregard what I just said, shave monkey nut space. But I did rock it though, just saying. <laughs> So these California North products, I really enjoy them and I look forward to trying a lot more and I need to re-up on this already and I'm gonna get that 16 ounce pretty soon. Now, circling back to Jean Darm and the fragrances. Of course, the bottle I'm giving away is the 50 ml travel size. Reason being, because I got the six ounce EDP concentration and this, uh, man, this is just, it's perfect. 
There is very few fragrances I have that work on every single occasion. I mean, summer, spring, you know, winter, fall, any of that, night, day, um, you know, morning, bedtime, church, formal, dress down, it all works. And there's very few that fragrance I have that can do it. Excuse me, they can do that. And the reason being, because this is it, to give you an idea what it smells like, yes, it smells great and all that stuff, but it smells like the continuation of a shower. And it smells like basically naked, washed, showered skin. And it basically gives you that sensation for a long extended period of time. And the reason I'm giving this away, I want somebody else to experience this. And if you can get a sample, just try it out. And you'll understand what I'm talking about. I even wear this to bed quite a bit. I really do. Because I want that soapy scent to just be with me all night. So I've always used that. I mean, for the last maybe eight years, probably. It's been my go-to airplanes and just any time. It's just a safe reach at any point. Now, <clears throat> some of the other fragrances here, they also have Sky. And the Sky fragrance is kind of just that. It smells like fresh laundry hanging out in a you know the open air I mean I just it puts you in the mind of a clothesline and fresh linen just blowing in the breeze after it's freshly washed and that's how this comes off it also has some florals that is kind of similar to Tom Ford's uh, Vert Boheme if I'm pronouncing that right and the dry down in that aspect similar to that and also with all these fragrances none of them are punching your face they all give off just a natural aura to where people don't even know you're wearing a fragrance, they just think that's how you smell. That's just your usual smell. Next, we have Gendarme 20. Now on this one, it is, <clears throat> excuse me, it is similar, somewhat similar to the original, but this has some more like lavender in it, things along that line, that it, it gives a more modern feel, if you will, and it's an EDP. It lasts a little bit longer than this toilet, but it is on even par with the uh, original gendarme and i believe you can't go wrong with that had to pick that one up of course the last one i believe it's pronounced grabazi this one is different it's unique i mean on this one <clears throat> it puts you in the mind you have to be in the mood for this one honestly I, in my personal opinion it smells like a spicy somewhat musky vintage vintage soap like this smells like some soap that you might find in Paul's cabinet that you know he only uses but it is really 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 soapy vintage soapy but I kind of like that because yeah, it does it throws me back in time it takes me back thinking about my grandfather and, and that era but it works and don't let it fool you. It's listed as a eau de cologne, but this lasts and lasts too. And it gives that soft walk for a long time as well. And I think this is pretty much, uh, when I'm in the mood for it, it's perfect. It's perfect for me. But all in all, my collection from Gendarme, this is what I have. And uh, funny, I was called in, long story short, with Topper Schroeder, God rest his soul. I owe him one. He took care of me at Christmas time when I was getting like four bottles for gifts and he made sure I was going to get that before Christmas because it was out of stock and he asked me to call back to be sure it got there and it arrived on the 23rd and everything was perfect. Um, but it was one time I was I called and asked him about some of the other fragrances and he would straight up tell me, he's like, no, nah, don't don't bother with that. No good. I was like, really? This year? He's like, not stick to this, stick to that. It's like, that's mighty honest of you. I mean, stand-up guy, and I always will support the company. Uh, it's been good to me. It's great products, but it, it's, it's always been good to me. And, you know, I'm forever, forever grateful for him. And, you know, I'm sure a lot of people are going to miss him dearly. I believe he passed away, oh, was it in 2020 now? I could be wrong about that, but um, maybe 21. But it was about that timeline. We lost a great one. But uh, all in all, you know, winners feel free to contact me instagram facebook or message below your email uh, but let's let's spin that wheel let's get it done and see what happens
Hey, but until next time, y'all be good.